today's video we're going to go through how to mute your microphone on the RC300 while you're looping and have the effects light come on so that you know that it's muted. Hey! First off, let's dive into the RC300 and I'll walk you through how to do this. And then at the end of this video I'll give you a little uh, demo doing some looping on why this can be really really beneficial for your sound. So uh, let's sort it out for you. So if you have an RC300 you're probably aware that in the system if we scroll through we can have the loop effects pedal, that's this one, assigned to effects on and assigns or just assign. We want it to be effect and assign for the purposes of this video and that's how you get the light to come on and know that it's muted. So just check in your system that that is set to, the loop effects is set to effects on and assign. Then what we're going to go down and do, come into your assigns, we're going to change this assign one, the input mic switch. Target minimums off, max on, loop effects pedal, so that we a source that we're assigning it to this uh, toggle, and and that's us. Now the last thing we want to do is we want to go into our effects, loop effects, the target doesn't matter, uh, category other, delay. Um, you can choose a bunch of different ones, but delay just makes things um, nice and simple. None of these matter at all um, except the effect level we're taking right down to zero. So the delay is effectively gone. Exit and last thing, write uh, that to your channel. For some of you what will happen is it will be the opposite. Um, it will be that your when the light is on it will mean your mic is on. Um, that will reset itself just by turning the RC300 off and then on again and it will mean that your mic is live and when the light is on then it's muted so um, just be aware of that <laughs> for some of you it will happen um, but now let's do a little example and and what I've got is I'm gonna play some uh, some some background crowd noise like you'd have at a gig and I'm just going to record the start of a loop uh, with the mic off, so mute it using that option, and, and then I'm going to record the same thing with the same background noise uh, just playing, but the mic is on, and you're going to hear the difference in how clean your, your loops are going to sound in a venue with a lot of background noise because it's being picked up by your mic. And all the overdubs you do, everything you add, just adds to that base level of, uh, of noise that's going into the system. So let's crank some people uh, cheering, hanging out, some background noise. Um, I I'm at home, so it's not actually going to be super loud compared to a venue, but I, I think we'll find it still comes through. All right. Uh, no mic muting. Just stop that for a moment. This is just the rhythm track. And you can hear in the background, that's what's coming through being picked up by the mic. Uh, it's the same on the other track. You're picking up the audience chatter and, and sound. So um, if I do that, let's just play it all together.
that's what's being put through your PA. Now, if I mute the mic while I'm recording just guitar um, parts, just and, and you do this just for the time that you are genuinely recording the guitar parts. Um, mic... In fact... Just before I mute the mic, I'm going to put these this our lovely audience, our lovely uh, fellow bar customers on again. All right, they're on. Muting the mic. to unmute my mic but uh, let's play just the rhythm track now ah, beautiful no audience background and that means that the other track also has no so now what you're putting through the PA what you're putting through the house system is purely just your guitar obviously if you're recording vocals you need to unmute your mic so that you can uh, record your vocals into the loop and and when you start singing then unmute them again obviously all right you you're smarter than i am you know this um but uh isn't that cool a nice simple way and i love having a little light on that tells me whether it's muted or not because i'm prone to just go and and sing and then wonder why Nothing's coming out of, <laughs> coming through the mic. Go and check cables and things and you realize that, oh, you've. I hope that's super useful to a bunch of you and, uh, and, and cleans up a bunch of your sound when you're doing live shows. Uh, just removing that, that audience bleed from your mic while you are building loops makes a big, big difference, so. Have a nice eve, morning, afternoon, whatever's happening for you.